So that was phenomenal. And I commend you guys, hands down, hats off, all of that to you guys for always coming through, having our back, where people think we're running like a Fortune 500 company. My name is Takia Fulton. I have been a tech professional in the industry um, based out of Miami, Florida for about 16 years. Prior to joining the Service Bureau Accelerator, um, did you even know what a Service Bureau was? Have you heard of it before? Like, what was your background before joining up on our program? Um, the only thing I've done was um, doing taxes. I had no idea what was a service bureau. Um, I would say since 2017, I've done a tax academy where I train people to be, you know, as a tax preparer to work in my, under my office, under my EFAN, but I had no idea what was a service bureau and how it works or anything like that until I met you guys. Then what made you interested in wanting to join uh, the Service Bureau Accelerator program? because I was ready to take my business to the next level, um, to get more so to shift from working so much in the business and help others grow and establish their tax practices. Do you want to share a bit about, you know, anything that you put together uh, going into your first year as a service bureau? Um, sure, I pretty much came, looked at all of you guys' training videos, um, figured out, okay, how I'm going to package my service bureau um, what is going to be my offer, how I'm going to get people to buy into it, and pretty much my story. People buy from people. So I began to, you know, share with them where I started from, how I was just like them, and where I am today, and how they can be here as well. The story, and then you did something a bit unique. I think when uh, you first launched it, you did like a live event or something like that. It was like a, it was at a restaurant or something, right? Correct. Um, to kick off um, the whole branding, because it's all about getting your name out there, getting your face out there, we had a, um, a live event to share everybody about the offer here locally in South Florida um, at a restaurant. We used all of that to get live footage, have a videographer there, capture photos, capture videos from everyone so that once we do do a promo video, we have content and material to put out there to promote it. Uh, do you wanna share completely up to you, roughly how much revenue you made before the taxes even started just on your service bureau side? On the service bureau side, I had two different offers going on where I marketed to people that wanted to come in the industry. Um, and they was pretty much under my PTN mentorship program, as well as for experienced um, tax professionals to scale and become their own, you know, ERO with their own EFIN. So I say roughly from when I launched the Academy, I did an early bird special, August 1st, um, all the way into December, just with service rural revenue, we perhaps made about like $45,000. Awesome, that's just front end collected cash before the tax season starts. Before the tax season start, not even added with your service bureau fee. So leading into tax season, you don't need to rely on a lot of those bank loans or things like that because you already have cash. You right? already so have cash coming in and then you can take that money that you've made from your service bureau aspect pre-season to use for marketing of your own tax office. Yeah. So that's how I utilize it. And for, you know, credit for as well. So about 40 something thousand just on the on the front end offer. And then I think on the back end with your service bureau fees and all the people you signed up, um, I didn't look at it recently. I don't know if you have an idea of what that number is right now. No, I haven't looked at it recently. I was going to look at it prior to, you know, our call today, but I haven't. And I'm ready to dive in to see, okay, with those extra added service bureau fees, how much was this year profitable for us. And then I still actually have, it's what, March 18th. And I still have my EROs, my P10 program still out there banking in the numbers, booked and busy every day. Nice. So nice. they're still working. Like when I saw it in February, I think you were, you had crossed the 50,000 mark on that. Um, but I don't know, it's probably way past that now. Cause that was early. Oh, February. wow. Like when I say I have no idea, I have no idea. I have them going to one account 
And the last time I checked um, early on, I'm like, the service real fees have made 40000 thus far. Yeah. Um, and that was January with funded return. So right. definitely- that didn't, that didn't count the, the, the add-ons that you put. No, that is not counting. <laughs> you got to add that too. Yes. And um, what I learned about you guys, so even though they had the offer just for, you know, the P10 program or the EFAN program, um, I still was able to make money with add-ons with helping them build out automations, helping them build out landing pages, websites, all the little extras that was added to um, their their mentorship program. Not so not just was the academy, but there's money to be made with everything because you've done this already. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel. It's already there for you. Right, for sure. Yeah, you package up. That, that's kind of like how we guide people on this is package up you right let's mm-hmm. just, let's work with how to structure it and word it but take your strengths and then put that out there because there's a lot of people that could benefit from that and you get paid along the way yeah cool. i want to dive in a little bit on the training one of the things i feel separates our program from anything else out there uh so nothing like this exists is the training um you know specifically we like to focus on how to actually grow a service bureau because realistically yeah you could go pay and get a service bureau in other places sure but i feel that all of them lack on the one fundamental thing is getting clients growing and all that so if you want to share your experience or feedback on the training aspects um definitely the training aspect with anything anything you guys do was definitely top tier Um, I must say like a lot of different training programs and mentorship programs, they leave you, get you signed up and just leave you out to dry. But with you guys, it was literally holding your hand because it's something new, not just for myself, but for many of us. So it was teaching us how to be a service girl while we're actually being a service girl. Um, You guys even had training, not just for us, but when it came down to the software that was new that you took that off of our plate where we had to train you know, the, um, the people in our service bureau on how to use the software, you guys had weekly trainings. It was recorded um, with Sean showing them how to use the actual software. So that's definitely was a time and lifesaver for me. Yeah, that was one thing we, uh, we decided to toss in um, as it started getting closer to September. We're like, yeah, let's just do that because I think that's something, <laughs> something that people are going to struggle with. Awesome. Yes, because not only you're teaching them how to, you know, start and or grow their tax office, that's a whole nother technical component where then now you have to train on the actual software. So you guys took that off of our plate where we didn't have to do that. We could just focus on the four fundamentals of starting and growing their tax business. What specific aspect of the training? Because like you went through, I know like your, your, your personality, you went through the stuff. So what specific aspect of the training we're like, oh, this, you did you latch onto and implement and we're like, okay, cool, this work. Um, once you get that self doubt out of your head and you hit the ground running and realize is, you know, you're in your own way and that is easier than you think, then everything will just coexist and make sense for you. And you just take it step by step you don't, you know, overwhelm yourself. And before you know it, you're halfway in and you've already completed the majority of the work that you was doubting yourself on to begin with. Obviously, you know, supporting you guys is is priority for us uh, when it comes to like, hey, most a lot of people have questions about certain service bureau side things, right? Um, how do you feel the support was? Or you, do you feel you were able to get the help you need? Yeah, not in just the um, the service bureau accelerator portal where you can put in a ticket any time of night. It was excellent turnaround times for that. If you needed the EFIN unlock or whatever issue that you may have, uh, whether it was with the bank, you guys was there literally holding our hands the entire time. Not just on the service bureau accelerator portal. The Facebook group was a tremendous support um, to help us out as well. So those two and the Zoom sessions he was having. So Which it's like Which ones? Wrong from there. the Zoom session that was, and I love that they was topic focused in the Zoom session. So you knew what was coming up 
and oh yeah, I definitely need to attend that Zoom session because that's where I'm at. Or I need to go back and watch that Zoom session and put it on, you know, slow it down, speed it up because I need to go back and focus on on that aspect of my service group. So that was phenomenal and I commend you guys, hands down, hats off, all of that to you guys for always coming through, having our back where people think we're running like a Fortune 500 company and we're backed by you guys. (laughs) Awesome, I appreciate that. What are you most excited about going into this next season? I'm excited mostly about venturing out to the software reseller program and setting some goals for that. I think I at least want to make, you know, between 200 to 300 um, thousand just on the software reseller program. I think that's a phenomenal shift um, for me as a service girl and to, you know, get away more so of the the P10 mentorship program and the academy, because as you know, that requires more, more time, more coaching, more holding of the hand. So if we can just deal with more experience, you know, EROs, then we won't have to worry so much about those issues with the new preparers coming in. For sure. Oh, yeah. And liability issues as well with them using your EP. Right, right. If they, if they didn't go and get their own, right? You gotta you gotta be careful with that for sure. Awesome. So that's an awesome goal. See, like 200, 300,000? I think it's doable. Yeah. I think it's, it's doable. doable. <laughs> we'll start <laughs> planning a path. All right. And then one yeah. final thing. With um, you guys behind my back, I know any plan, any goals that we put into place, we always crush it. Oh, we always sure. crush it. For sure. I mean, we've had a lot of conversations on, hey, don't stop now. Let's just keep going. <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. Because so many times, like, you feel like you want to give up. But with this Service Real program, knowing you guys are in our back pockets, like, it's the best thing ever. Awesome. I appreciate it. And one final thing. People are going to watch this. You're probably going to be internet famous, maybe. Um, some people that are watching this maybe on the fence are like, oh, not sure. It could be too, too good to be true. Whatever the scenario is going on in their head. What would you tell anyone that's looking at joining the Service Bureau Accelerator program? Huh. The, that's the main thing. The offer always appeals to be too good to be true. But you have to take that leap of faith and invest in you. And if this is something that you want to do and get out of working in the business, um, and the day-to-day and more so on the back end and helping me in that support system and growing without doing so much, definitely invest in the Service Bureau Accelerator program. You won't regret it. The support that you get, the guidance, working everything down while you're still learning at the same time, it's unmatched. It's unmatched. You can't find this program anywhere. Awesome. I appreciate it. We'll go ahead and wrap it up. Thanks for being here, Takia. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. And thanks for everything you guys have done, continue to do for me. Like, I am forever grateful. I don't know what I'll do without you guys.